Hey everybody, long time no see. I hope you've all been doing very well. I've been extremely busy, and so that's why you haven't heard from me in a while. Uh, I've started my two-week practicum for my education program, and so I'm teaching six periods a day for the full week, working, you know, a real teacher's hours, and it's been really good, but I also have to plan all of the lessons and make sure I have everything ready every night before. So I have been doing some knitting, I just haven't had time to make a video because the place that I'm staying doesn't have internet. So I could make the video, but you wouldn't be able to see it or anything. So what have I been working on? Well, as of late, I've just had a huge influx of orders, which is awesome, but I'm trying to just kind of get everything in order. So uh, sorry, my hair's kind of crazy right now. So I have an order, I had an order last time I talked to you for five baby hats, and the woman then wanted two baby sweaters to match some of the hats. So that's what I've been working on, and, uh, sorry, I'm almost at the end of this row. And so, okay, so this is the first one that I knit, and unfortunately, there isn't a pattern for this yet, so I'm thinking of writing one up. For it, uh, it's it's loosely based off of another pattern, but I just changed everything that I needed to to make it suit the purpose. She wanted um a roll neck sleeves and neck and okay, I guess it wouldn't be rolled neck sleeves. So she wanted rolled sleeves, a rolled neck, and then a rolled hem. And so it, it wasn't too hard to figure out. It's just a raglan sleeve sweater. Very easy. And but this is pretty much the last of this yarn, which makes me extremely sad because I really like this yarn. I got it. And thank you all by the way for all the people that sent in suggestions. None of them were it, unfortunately. They were close but not quite the same. Um so I I'll, I'll probably never find this again, which is sad because I got five big skeins of this. I've made I've made or I think I got four skeins. I made two adult hats and a baby sweater and a baby hat and then I have about half of a hat done that I'll probably be able to finish up crocheted with that and so I've gotten a fair amount of stuff done. That's that sweater. I'm finishing the sleeve on the other one that she wanted. It's inside out. So one thing for people that knit out there, uh, <laughs> my friend Emily, she's in my knitting group with me. Um, so when she knits, the right side of her work, this is the right side, is on the outside. And when I knit, the right side is on the inside. So you guys should leave a comment. I'm interested to see. When you're knitting in the round, does the right side show up on the inside or the outside of your hat? Because for me, it's always on the inside. And she thinks that's super weird. And I didn't know that you know, it would even be different depending on which way you throw your yarn, but everything changes depending on what hands you're using to do what. So that's kind of fascinating, but yeah, so leave a comment. Tell me which side of the work your right side is on. Anyway, so I'm just finishing up the sleeve. It'll probably take me a few, you know, half an hour or something to finish that up. And then I'll sew all the ends in so I can get this shipped out tomorrow. And she wants, now she wants some matching booties. So I've never made booties before, so that should be interesting. I've made socks, so I'm and slippers, so I'm not worried about it. It's just gonna be finding the right pattern, cause she's um rather particular about the designs of everything, which is good, cause we make sure that she likes everything before I do it, so I don't have to waste my time, you know spending all this time making things that she says, oh, mm, that's not quite what I wanted, so got that figured out. I also have an order for seven headbands and one hat for one person because they are a figure skater coach, and they want some of those crochet headbands that I make for their figure skaters for their new show. So I have that coming up. Uh, I have a blanket for the lady that ordered the sweaters and the hats and the booties. I have some leg warmers for a friend, and a hat for another friend that I need to do. 
And so I have a lot of, I don't want to say chore knitting, but it's not stuff that I'm choosing myself to do. It's for other people and for my shop. So that's been, so it hasn't been bad actually, which is surprising because sometimes I don't know about, oh, sorry. So in, in my grandparents' house, there's, I guess, uh, you probably can't see out, it's too dark. They have a deck right there, and I was just sitting up here a couple days ago, and I looked out the window, and there was this ginormous fat raccoon staring at me through the window, just right next to me. I mean, couldn't have been two feet away from me, just the, the glass was all that was separating us. Oh, it scared the bejesus out of me. I mean, obviously it can't do anything, but I wasn't expecting it to be there, so I just turned around and looked, and there's these two little eyes staring at me, and I thought I saw it again, but it was just a cat, so. <laughs> it, it's different living out in the country, you know. I see coyotes and whatever in our yard, and coyotes, I guess some people say. My grandparents say coyotes, so that's, I've gotten in the habit of saying that, so. But everything else has been good, just busy, so. I know that wasn't very exciting. I actually have made one of the hand headbands I was talking about, but I don't have it with me to show you because it's out in my car and I'm not going to go dig it out because of the coyotes in the dark ah, and the foxes. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I hope you guys have a good week. Bye.